What's up, YouTube, and welcome to another first look. Today we're checking out Spirit of the Island. It's a uh, kind of city builder, I believe. I really don't know too much about it. It looked adorable, colorful, my kind of game, right? <laughs> so um, thank you to the developers for coming up with the key for this. Um, you guys can check out the game. There is a demo, I believe. Let me double check before I say that. Yes, there is a demo. Um, the link is down in the description below. And don't forget to like, leave us, like, yeah, like and subscribe. That's that's what it is. All right, let's get into this. Um, real quick, I just want to make sure there's nothing like crazy. So far, the audio actually seems like it's pretty good. So, we're gonna start single player. Oh, it's got multiplayer to it. I don't know in what capacity. It is currently in early access. So my name is Vlad. Um, property name. Oh boy. I hate these. I'm not good at naming shit. <laughs> I just end up going with Indie Gems. Just to go off of the website. Like, thank you. Yep, you can be all that. That's fine by me. Okay, we're a dude. I'm not red. I could be. Um, sure. I have red hair, though. Childhood. Oh, this actually affects something. So you love everything about living outside of urban areas. Taking care of farms brings you joy, and animals mean a lot to you. Manual work is also something that's not hard for you. Survivor, you learned how to defend yourself during school and how to find different types of plants and organic things in nature. Foraging and discovering are the things you really love to do. Food lover, cooking is an art and spices are gold. You'll always think of different ways to cook, not only on the land, but also you also know how to deal with different types of seafood. Popular kid. As a kid, you loved to talk to other people and always enjoyed being next to you. Uh, uh, joining your friends in many adventures was a big part of your childhood. Builder. Everything can be fixed or created as per your imagination. You love building stuff and destroying things as well. Connecting logic and crafting defines you what you've come today. Collector. Holy shit, there's a lot of different, like, childhood stuff here. Um, you're fascinated by everything the world has to offer. Food, people, animals, challenges, and even danger living life, as some may say. Okay. Um, really? Oh, I'm torn between the countryside and, like, food lover or builder. Let's go builder. I just want normal. We'll have the tutorial on. All right. You grew up so fast. Home is very personal. And you will have your own. I know your parents treated you well. Don't worry. They will wait for you to meet you again one day. It's time for them to rest while you start your own journey. There's so much to see. and even more to discover. Spirit of the Island. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm excited to see what this is. I think it's a little like Stardew Valley esque. Which I'm okay with. That yeah, was a little rough of a load in, but we're here. Oop, I clicked outside of the game. There we go. Ah, the boat is gone. At least I'm on the correct island. 
I think. Welcome to the Mahu region. This is a quick guide to get you started in this game. The camera is fixed, and so you can use movement, WASD, jump, space, interact, E, and action with left mouse button. You also will have basic human needs, like hunger, thirst, and fatigue. Keep a close eye on them so you don't slow down because of those reasons. Check your stats or tab whenever you can, but the game user interface will also show you the biggest changes. One last tip before I let you go, explore the island, interact with objects you can, when you can, objects that you can interact with will display an icon next to it, use interact to do so. As a first task, try and find your home, just follow the road and go to northeast from there. You told me to interact with everything and then you're like, nah, just, fuck it. <laughs> All right, we have a lot of stamina. Oh, we got cherries. Oof. There is something going on with the uh, resolution. Let's turn on vertical sync. It seems to be better. It's almost got like a Animal Crossing look to it. Yeah, okay, putting V-Sync on was a lot better. It was doing some weird stuttering. Is this where I'm supposed to go? All right, as you can see, there are many places to discover. Each time you find a location, you will gain some experience points for the exploration skill. Uh, there are many more skills that you can unlock and upgrade. This way. I have a fucking sword. Yes. All right. Yep. Got fat from that, okay. This must be the place. What a mess. But the house looks like it's in one piece. I wonder why my parents wanted me to come here. If I remember correctly, find the house, found it. Make it my new home, and then look for the Elder. She's responsible for the local town around. Perhaps I could use this to get started and fix this mess. Also, maybe it would be good to find something to eat and drink soon, and later get some rest. Well, let's get that letter and take a look around. I also need to get to know the town. This is your home. It is a little bit rusty and dirty now, but with time, you will be able to upgrade and create new furniture and machines. Here, you can build your own farm, your shops, and much more. Make sure it becomes a beautiful place for tourists to visit. I don't want people to come visit me. So fuck off. I want to be a hermit. <laughs> also, when you get tired, you will have to sleep. You have one bed already. Remember that you need to sleep to rest. Every time you sleep, the game will be saved. And if you have a good sleep, you may gain a positive buffer where your energy will replenish much faster for some hours. The same happens if you eat a good meal. Your health may replenish for a while. Now, if you didn't already, get that wood axe, the shovel, the watering can, and the pickaxe. Those are very important tools for you to start crafting your own buildings and get to work. And with time, you will also be able to upgrade those tools. Mine. If you don't have more water for your watering can, you can go get some from rivers and lakes, not from the sea. Your watering can can be used to water your crops later. You may unlock some items to speed that up. Just go to a lake, equip the watering can, and use the interaction button. Very standard. Hammers can be used to repair tools. Hammers can also be crafted, or you can buy them from the trader. Shovels can be used to dig in the ground and search for items, including getting earth to create crops. They can also be used to destroy roads or sidewalks that you do not want anymore. Shovels can be crafted using a workbench. Axes are very important. They can chop trees down and even cut objects if you don't want them anymore. You can craft axes at a workbench. Just make sure you have the right materials and a pickaxe. Pickaxes are the only tools that can mine minerals and destroy some rocks. Some rocks are only possible to destroy with dynamite. But let's save this for another topic. You can craft pickaxes at a workbench. Sweet. All right, so what do we... We need to collect earth for the crops. Earth for the crops. Okay, you will gain experience points while doing many actions like chopping a tree. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay, there is a lot. So, like, we can... Discovering things, caves, boats, letters... 
Wow, there's a lot to this game. Pirates defeated. <laughs> there are many types of items. Some of you can equip, others are materials to build something or even consume. For example, you can eat apples to decrease hunger, while coconut water can decrease thirst. Select the item, add to a quick slot, and use it with the action button while playing. Usually food and organic items can spoil, so always pay attention to the days that can be out of a refrigerator or fridge. If this happens, they can turn into different items. And you can get items while foraging, interacting with the environment, destroying things in many other ways. Also, some characters can sell you items, but in this game, you will be the person that will help the town with the items and provide them with the resources. <sighs> I... So, how does this relate to my... Hot bar. Quick slots. Two. One. Two. Two. Okay. Three. Four. Five. Six. Aha! You will be... Eight. And we'll put the apple on nine. I don't... Seven doesn't need to be anything, but it, it's there. Right, so we have armor, which or like we have clothes and stuff, which actually does give us stuff. So we have defense. All right, this is gonna be. A, I'm I'm excited. Our hunger's not too bad. Our thirst isn't bad. Fatigue's not too bad. Quests are obtained with the town folks while exploring. You will receive some quests or side quests in your home through letters where the town people will always ask for something from time to time. To start receiving quests from them, make sure to introduce yourself to the town citizens also. They like to talk. The best way to improve your relationship with them is by talking with them every day if you can. <laughs> I'm not a social person. Like, I can be if I have to be, but fuck. You can evolve many skills and unlock new items or recipes when you gain new levels. Most of the skills are action-based. It means that you need to use the skill to improve it. I like that, actually. For example, to increase cooking, you need to cook items on the stove or sit in our workstation. So we got farming, mining, foraging, cooking, fishing, exploration, combat, social, electronics, and crafting. And because of our builder stuff, I believe we already have, like, the electronics and crafting we have a, a bonus in. This tab will save all important messages that you receive. This is the world map. Interesting. calendar will show the important dates like it's a shame I can't click these to figure out what they mean though like is that their birthday or is this the day that this like person shows up like yeah. register important moments during your journey this will show your relationship status with everybody and help you keep track of your finances oh shit <laughs> Staff? Do I get to run a fucking shop? Oh, please say I do. But it was pickaxe to get rid of stuff that I... Or I mean, axe to get rid of stuff I didn't want, right? There's our one bed. Even my TV's just broke. <laughs> Alright. So, I think... Can I just dig anywhere? I don't know how this works. Okay, so it doesn't affect the soil. Alright, so farming basics. We got our earth. And we need stone now. Can I, like, break into these? My bag is full. Well, there's a chest over here, so that, that's good. I need a key to open. Fuck! Can I make... I wanted to make a chest. I don't see that as an option anywhere, and that bothers me. Um, shit. Well, 
Drink. Although that's not... What is my bag full of? I have worms now. Yellow flower. Let's drop the yellow flower. Um, we will use the cherry. I am not hungry though. Damn. Okay. There we go. Farming basics. Create your first crop. How do I do that? Seven. Okay, so that doesn't seem... I need duct tape and wood plate. Oh, shit. Duct tape. You need five of those. Three. Confirm. I'm supposed to be going and visiting people. I'm like, yeah, fuck that. I, was, I want to repair that fence. My bag is full. I have a flashlight. Yes. Um. Let's see. Wood plate. That small fish bait. I was hoping that I'd start using stuff and it would just get better, but it doesn't appear to be. Um, we are hungry. We can use that. I don't see. Where's the wood plate? There it is. We need wood. Okay. So to get that, we got to go cut some trees down. But I need... Ah, oh, fuck. This is driving me nuts! Um, that. We can just drop it all. Maybe I can pick it up here in a second. Need the wood. Need the wood. Okay. Wood plate. I'm afraid if I run away that these won't be here anymore, but I guess I could... I got the fat... I got the fat pretty easy, right? Do we have another opening? I don't. I don't... I don't need that. I can get worms later. I don't need plant fiber. I can get that later. Resin might actually be kind of nice to keep. And now I'm full again, aren't I? Empty bottle. I feel like that's... I need that. I don't need the flowers. Okay. We're ready for when that... Ever that's done. Um, let's go visit the people. Is this the way to go? Or is this just back down to... Follow the road north to reach Vlad's lands. If you go south, you will reach the pier. I'm trying to kill the froggy. All right. I can't, I can't hurt the frog. So there must be a way to get over there from over here somewhere. We got a fair amount of land. Hey, be careful. There are some nails on the ground. I'm trying to fix the bridge. I don't know what happened. Sorry to not look at you. If you drop this now, we may have a bigger problem. Tell you what, if you bring me some materials, maybe I can finish faster. What do you think? Okay, I will help you as soon as I have the materials I'll bring to you. This is the only way to get the town, right? Okay, I'll see what I can do. Yeah, I'll give you. I'll be nice. Thank you. This will really help. You need 15 wood plate, which, hey, hey. 
Oh, sweet. I don't have to hold run. Guy just goes in there. Now, granted, you're... You're gonna go through your, uh... Stamina a lot quicker, but... Uh, 14, not 15. Damn. Okay. Um... What makes duct tape? Oh, plant fiber. Of course. So I will take me there. Okay. Um, what can I delete? I don't know what to delete. Uh, um... Uh, Let's just get rid of the resin. I need the plant fibers. How many do I have? Did I not pick up plant fibers? And, ah, I needed the fucking fat. <laughs> Just my luck. Orange mushroom. You know what? I'm gonna drop you here, bud. Where did I get the fat from? I think I got it from just cutting this shit. Alright, seriously, where did I get the fat from? Oh, skill is in... I don't know where I fucking got this from. Okay. Medicinal leaf? Oh, that's kind of nice to have. Alright, let's go. It's night time. <laughs> I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Let's fucking go to sleep. 1920... Or no, that'd be two. So let's go nine hours or eight hours. Confirm. <clears throat> right. Okay, so everything persists. That that's good to know. I need to figure out how to get fat. Is there something that'll tell me? Is there some kind of like Codex thingy. Work in progress now. Um, foraging would it be in? I can't look that up. Fuck, okay. I really wish I dropped the fat as opposed to. See, my bag is full, but what are they? Broccoli seed. <laughs> I just need fun. Uh. I truly don't know where I picked up all that fat the first time. We do need more wood. So at this point, I'm just, yep, yeah, we're just gonna get rid of some seeds. Like, was it that thing? It might have been that thing. Um,. Broccoli can go away. Damn it! I don't think that's fat. What else? 
I hate that it tells you in the beginning, like, oh, yeah, get all of this inventory, and then we're just not going to let you... We're going to make it near impossible for you to manage. Resin. I just... Oh, could it have come from this? Yep. Okay, that's where it was. All right. Um, get rid of the resin, pick up the fat. Okay, there we go. Duct tape. See, it'd be really nice to have, like, a book that once you discover something with foraging, that it would tell you, like, hey, you're looking for fat? You can get it from these sources. Um, so we need... We'll just do four. I'm also going to need four rope. This strikes me as one of those games I could end up playing very late into the night. I need four rope. Come on. I do hope that that speeds up as your crafting gets better. I have your materials, my friend. All materials are here. Awesome. Thank you. I'll be able to speed this up, get some rest in your home. The next day it'll be ready, I am sure. All right, so farming basics. That's the one that I want to figure out here. First thing you'll need to do with this shovel, which you can find one near your home when you start. With the shovel you can equip into the quick slot and use the action key. Okay. Yeah, I got that. Build menu, pressing B and put key. Oh shit. I can make, oh. Okay, combat bench, furnace, power generator. Where's our crops? I don't see. Oh, damn. Okay. Okay, okay. Build farm. Oh my god, there's a lot to this game. Need to plant seed here, ideally one from this season. What season does it say? It's spring, so we could put beets, we could do cauliflower. They both appear to be about the same. Okay, so I only have to do that once. Oh, I, I'm getting this. I'm figuring it out. Oh, damn. We better start planting. Bag is... Full. What all can I build? Basic sprinklers. Quality sprinklers. There's all kinds of stuff here. Roads. Sidewalks. Shops. So these are the stall, the shops that we can run. A staff tower. A bike. Yes. Small chest. I need a wood plate. Two more, and I can make a small chest. Let's do that. Here, we'll go as many as I can. This game is surprisingly deep, so while that works, what else can we make? Aquariums? Oh 
my god. We should clean up around our... Well, we can. Was improved. Ooh, that's a different stone. Ah! Okay. Where's the basic chest? We can put those over. What else can I... So now I'm wondering... If I have materials over there... Can I... Still make stuff? No. Okay, so... Doesn't pull from local inventories. A little frustrating. Those, though, we can put those over. That can be over. I don't need that all the time. All right, that gives me a little bit of room to work with. Carrot seeds, potato seeds. Thus, we got lots of seeds. Lots and lots of seeds. We are going to be farming a lot. Coffee! <gasps> and there's a lake there that go fucking fishing. This game is amazing! <laughs> it's got some weird things going on for it, but I'm... I can see myself really getting into this game. Why can't I swing my hammer? Alright, um... Go in here and clean up. Oh, my stamina is getting low. Less hungry, but I don't know how the hell do I get a water? Like, can we risk Giardia and just go drink it out of the out of the lake? <laughs> is that how this works? That is not how that works. Fuck. I was really hoping that's what we would have to do, but all right, we gotta find a well. I guess let's go, let's go find people to, oh, the town, I can't get there yet. We can go explore around, though. Maybe the, maybe I'll find one. Um. This place is huge. What's it what's in here? Wait, I just need to catch my breath. Pretty flowers. Ooh, the 
What is this? Ah! Back, I say. How do I... How do I target you? I don't know how I'm going to eat you, but I'm going to. What else did they drop? Crab leg. Piece of treasure. Treasure paper. I could sell that. Okay. Um, medicinal leaf. We got a shell. Okay. And does this take us? Where, where am I? I wish it would show me a little more detailed than just the little menu or mini map up there. I'll show you my key. I will hit it till it opens. Tired. I'm so very thirsty. There is a beehive. Oh. Well, won't you look at that? Okay. As nice as a view as it is, I'm going to die because I cannot find any water. <laughs> Oh, what's this? History house. Learn about our own history. Uh, maybe later. Right now, I am... I am thirsty and can do nothing about it. Guess we'll just go to sleep. All right, bridge to town is up. Can I leave any more stuff here? Because we were full. Um, shell. And we'll put that over there, too. Okay. Oop. Hello, I know you are new, so I wanted to write a few things about our town here. I hope you are all set in your home. Every month we have a few events, and also you know people get so old. You know, people gets old. So remember the anniversary from the town, folks, and I'm sure you will make better friends. For these events, if you want to participate, just go to the town center and interact with the big signal at the town center. Hope to see you there. Oh, I got it. I got to water that. Quarter of the way to grown. We're gonna need to make more farm plots. It's on the to-do list. Start planting shit. Gotta go check out the town. Oh, that was weird. Okay. <laughs> I thought it was loading into like a uh, cutscene or something. Nope, we were just loading the rest of the level together. Ow! <laughs> I walked right into that sticker. Dude's asleep. That's so thirsty. For the love of God, please somebody have water. <laughs> Let there be a place I can fill up my water. That looks like I could fill my water. What's this? I need one of the following in my handy gas can. Can I? I cannot get water from there. Fuck. Really? What is that? Oh, 
Damn it. It doesn't show me anything, which is frustrating. I really want a zoomed in map. Am I just not figuring this out? Is there buttons I'm supposed to press? Ah, I don't know. Oh wait, the star is me. So now that I'm further up here, yeah, okay, the star is me. So I can at least take that. Figure, okay, I'm this close. How do you all get water in this this town? It's like flashing at me now. I'm going to die. There's no water. I don't know how to get water. There does not appear to be coconuts. Because I had coconut water. Oh, oh. Oh, hold on. Wait a minute. We may be okay. I can't build anything on my own property. All right. We've got to shake the trees and get the coconuts. Okay, there we go. That's how we do this. Okay. It is three in the morning. I was like, no wonder nobody's awake right now. <laughs> okay. Well, I feel better. I have, I have coconut water. Is this, okay, this is the way back. Don't mind me just running through the town with my machete at three in the morning. Not, not spooky at all. Oh, thank you. Okay. There's water. And if that's there, I bet we can build a water pump. Let's get over into our land, and then I want to see if I can build a water pump. I know I can't currently build it. Ooh, it's getting late. Sorry. I don't know if there's a better way to do that. Like, I'm not sure how they're, how they're d implementing it, but it'd be nice that that didn't happen. Is what I'm trying to say. All right. So if we were to look at this. Sprinklers, trees, no. Water pump, iron ingot, pack of screws, and rope. All right, so we can eventually make that. And a beverage with this, so, such cool shit here. I'm, I'm excited. I can make a furnace. Let's make a furnace. I don't know what I need it for, but damn it, I'm making one. Yeah. Make bricks. Make iron ingots. Game saved. All right. Well, I think we're going to wrap up there, but I, I'm i going to probably do another video or two of these. I, I don't know if I'll do a full series, but at least another video or more like when understanding this game a little more. But uh, that spirit of the island. And so far, I'm really liking this game. It's incredibly deep. There's a lot here that I was not expecting. Um, the link, again, down in the description. There's also a demo that you, if you want to go check that out. Um, and yeah, check out indie-gems.com. Like, subscribe to this, do all that fancy shit. Thank you, everybody. And until next time, take care.